What is up, YouTube? Swayze back in the lab again for some more video games. Um, we back on here with um, another episode of Game of Thrones. <clears throat> While I check for the DLC. Um, where do we leave off? Uh, we last left off. Um, I was the new... Um, is it called the king? I was the new head of the house. I think they called the king. I don't remember. And I just told off that one dude. I gotta, I gotta get better with the names of the houses and uh, the characters and whatnot. But let's get to it. Continue episode one. Let's get to it. It's been a while since I played. Like I said before, I gotta get back to playing on my normal schedule. So it's easier to remember what's going on in the games when you play on a normal schedule. It's a plane with weeks in between. Maiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's <clears throat> favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it House should Bolton. be. I told off the leader of House Bolton. Who am I? My mama? Alright, what's this? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. To strange Asher place, Essos. He loves college. Alright. Ethan made this for me. Ethan. I think I'm like the little sister. Remember, like, remember last episode when um when mom's and the little girl walking, and I'm assuming it's her daughter. I think that's her. What is that? No, what is that? Did you just look. Can I read that? Just come on, bro. It's called an unfinished letter. Whatever. What is this? A Chuck E. Cheese token? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. A Chuck E. Cheese token? It once belonged to Lady Elena. Alright, we out. I didn't catch her name when this when this first started. I was too busy rambling about nonsense. What's her name? Dusty old tone. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Okay, okay. Ethan is the new. I don't. I can't remember if they refer to them as kings or what. But he's the heir. He's not. He's not even the heir to the throne. He's the guy. He's a new guy of this house. I can't even. I can't even remember the name of the house. But he's a new guy of this house. Roger was his brother, who died. And they pops died. And she is the sister of Ethan and Roderick, and they have another little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm caught up. I'm caught up because they were they were talking in the woods. So was she like the princess? I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Alright. Letter from mother. Bro. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I gotta get my head back into. I gotta get my. Uh, Jesus. I gotta get my head into it because I've been sipping a little bit. Un poquito. Un poquito. Just a little bit. Who's this? I think they're like, um... Sorry, lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting his voice to... I wasn't expecting his voice to be that deep. He sounds like, um... He looks like, um... No, come on in. Fine. Come in. Oh, what's his name? Carl from Shameless. <laughs> All right. 
begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm chilling. I'm I don't gotta tell you Thank nothing. You. I don't know you of yet. There's no reason for me to tell you anything. Get out of here, Carl. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Lady Marjorie? Stick butter? You work for Lady Marjorie? Nah. -uh. I may be wrong. But yeah, you are it wrong. seems like you do. It's really no, no, dude. It's not, it's not a good time. Perhaps I'm not, sure, I'm not really trying to uh, do this back and forth, course, you, back and forth with you. I'm, I'm slurring my words. This, this is gonna be a terrible video. <laughs> Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was, I was expecting the old lady. Talk. That is Come, not what I was expecting. Looking like discuss. Ariel from Little Mermaid. That is not who I was expecting. All right. So I work. For, I work for you. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You Who must are understand you? there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. Okay, there's no to limits right now. From the north, whose family you can tell what me what you want to say. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Wow. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what I don't for know. For me? But she's waiting Why would I be a traitor? Now, I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not. But you're you never pay me out to be a fool. Her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. No, can you got me out there looking stupid? See if no. the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. I'm about to be no pushover. Don't be a pushover. In anything you do, you'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. No. Oh, I'm about to. Oh, this is about to happen right now. Good luck. Who are you? Okay, this is what happened right now. Okay. I remember my, my first job I had. I was I was a pushover. You know, what I mean, I didn't know how to how to run game, the politics of working. And I ended up losing that job because I just let them you do, do and say whatever they wanted to say to me. And then by the end of my run, I was fed up. I think you should always speak your mind. Don't be, a, don't ever be a pushover, man. Don't ever let somebody dictate your a, your actions. Don't ever do what other people ah, want Lady you to do. Do what's in the best interest for yourself. Lovely this evening. I know this dude from Lord the uh, from the actual show. Your Grace. And he's the only one I've recognized so far. Like, I see him in With the. With your um, permission. Allow me to introduce I've seen him Lady like in the previews of, of the show, like in the commercials and stuff. Okay, stand tall, bow your. Do I need to? Okay, I think it's right that you're well, supposed to. I'm, I'm about my head. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. I don't care, bro. House I don't even know what's going on. More than house loyal to the king. House Forester. Okay, I House Forester. I wasn't talking to you. 
I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Mm hmm. They are noble, not traitors, Your Grace. Noble? Perhaps once, for a northern house, but now, now they're merely dead. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? <laughs> he is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm glad you picked up on that. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. Yeah, that's what you wanted to hear. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. Hmm. You are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to yeah. a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you oh, do then? Man. I'm sure Ooh. she would go and answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern. Damn! I try, to, I try to slide past that one. Who do you choose? Mm. Okay, this is a. I don't got time then for this one. Okay. Oh, brother, this is a hard decision right here. Okay, so. I think they're saying King Lord Bor Borister? Bor. Bor Baghdad? I don't know. I'm I'm taking it that this this kingdom, the city, this state, whatever it is, is divi is divided into seven different houses. And above all the seven houses is uh, a king, King Borster. He he presides over all of these um these these houses, and each house has their own elected ruler or their own royal family that leads the houses so at, at so you're supposed to be loyal to the king of your house and also the king of let's just call it the land the king of the land 
it took me about 30 minutes to figure that out. Um, so if she's asking if there's a conflict, will I be loyal to the king or Lady Margarine? Stick a butter lady. She wanted me to say what she wants to hear. Lady Marjorie wanted me to oblige her and say what she wants to hear. I'm a strong believer in going with your heart. I never met King Borster, King Boyle, King Browers, whatever his name is. I'm not I never met him. But at the same time this is politics. I'm I'm starting to see that. So over this time and this time only I'm gonna the say king. what she wants to hear. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of Kings. I gotta go over this hierarchy again real quick. I'm not, quite I'm not sure, sure who Lady, Lady Marjorie That's is. I suppose for a northern girl, but not very encouraging either. What's this supposed to mean? I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Can I bounce? I'll walk you out. Mini-me? This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannis Did you? Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only Bruce spoke Bolton. briefly, but your Bolton. father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank These you. would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor okay, Lady Marjorie was So who's Joffrey? Is it Joffrey Bolton? Quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I never say anything about this one. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister mm -mm. and I have That's what she wanted me to do. She takes great pleasure okay, so in that's your sister. Charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Okay, so what crown is ironwood? Boats. boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although Ooh, Cersei. what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. Oh, damn, I pressed square by the last one there. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promise... I wasn't even really sure what he was asking, like... Tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Okay. I've watched so many YouTubers play um, Telltale games, and like I said, this is my first Telltale game I've ever played. And I'm gonna go ahead and say these answers are not easy choices. Like some yeah, of these answers are, are very hard. You try to take everything into consideration, it gets kind of difficult, but. Cersei has a way of looking at you, so you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Who is getting of married? Course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ninth <laughs> born sons? Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Can you imagine? 
Being true. royal blood, your father is a king, but and you were the ninth born son. Martel. You're like the red headed stepchild. Nobody cares about you. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. No, you're having fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't know who Joffrey is, bro. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might so even Joffrey to has to be Lord Bolton. Let's see. They call it Lord that of the Houses, not Kings, not Lord of the Houses. Okay, but Jeff, Joffrey, it must be Joffrey Bolton. Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? So who's your husband? Well... Sarah? I told oh, you to no stop, shit. my lady. <laughs> I just snitched. Oh, man. This is I not a game. Like, God it's damn a battle thing. Plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. Sweet. So we want it, right? I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the Lords and Ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. I don't you understand who she brave, is. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her. As difficult are we in the same house that's ruled over Ethan? Thank you, my lady. Is being ruled been by Ethan? There's something on my mind. Something important. I'm gonna ask. I don't know what she's asking for. I, I did have Here a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I feel like Sarah snitch. I prefer to speak with you alone. She's so salty. I don't know you, Sarah. Sorry. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request, especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. 
not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I'm, I'm like really confused, man. I don't know if it's because I'm a little tipsy. Or if this is just all kind of foggy, but I don't understand what's going on. Who are all these people? Who is Cersei? Who is... Okay, get back to my boy who I, I know what's going on with him. Your family's dead. We are doing to that man. I mean, in one head and got seen, huh? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. Okay, so I have the option easy. to. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few seats. Okay, so the, the object the here is to not get seen by old boy that's turning around. By doing the left, he keeps turning around and looking, so the object here is to not get seen by him. He does not. See, 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 see. see. How much further oh! To these Did I get seen? Foresters. Oh, I didn't get seen. Okay, we good. A day, my lord. Two at most. Y'all see this, the size of the screen turning red? That? Oh, brother. My lord? Yes. Oh no. Where? Nigga, they saw your elbow, bro. How do you know? Hear that? How you know look behind this tree? I know I heard something. Stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Ooh. That was a big decision right there. Oh man. You guys gonna leave old dudes strung up like that too? That's crazy to me. Look, but the thing is, it's not your business. Let's just leave. And did him dirty on the front. Oh Good my hell. god. My thing is, what did you expect? You see, you saw that dude standing in front of him with that huge ass knife carving him open. What did you expect to see when you walk in front of him? Oh man. Lord Ethan. Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. Did you chase me? Are you been running this whole time? Why you ridden so heavy? Don't worry about me. But three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Okay. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. They'll call me Lord Ethan the Lok. And wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new Lord. Lord Ethan the Lok? These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. That's a lot of pressure. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. 
He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. Okay. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Okay. Well, I choose him right now. I don't even know anybody. Oh no. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. This is crazy. Like, who the fuck is okay. Lord Ethan? Me. Who is this dude? Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. The deserter and a thief. Explain more. This house is doomed! Why are you screaming? Why I don't could... fucking know it! <sighs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. For what? Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's what? not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. It speaks it's true. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> bread and wine, not water, bread and wine. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. Now if I got something to do with it. survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need Bro, to know. They look. cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. These two giving me... They're, the they're like the angel and the devil on your shoulder, man. It's like, it's really hard to... Like, one person starts saying something, like, yeah, that's a good decision. Then the other dude chime in and say something, like, well, fuck. I don't know now. Wait, hold on. Do I, is there a time limit on this? Don't give me a time limit. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Yeah, what you stole, though. But it is yours. My lord. My family depends on me. Yo, I've never... <sighs> okay. I'm the new king. They think I'm a pushover. One. That's point one. I can't be soft on them. You know what I mean? Show them mercy. I want to show them mercy. But at the same time, like I said, I don't want to come across as a pushover. I'm young. They think I'm not fit for this job already. If I take his fingers... That's all that needs to be said. If I show him mercy, oh, well, he's not ready. I don't even know what the hell the wall is. What do you mean the wall? The handball wall? What y'all about to do over there? I, I understand how you feel, bro. You broke. But what's guns gonna do, bro? If you would have caught, if you would have stole some money, I would have understood. But you're selling guns. Do you really need your pinkies and your uh, your ring finger? I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The thief kill him. The price for your crime. I'm not killing him. Of your fingers. No, please, my lord. My lord, please. Please. Oh no. no. That was my sister. She was just saying she don't want me to change. I am willing to carry it out. If you do not feel good. No, no. You may carry out the sentence. No, I got, I'm not going to let my sister see me do that. I won't let my sister see me do that. Let me talk to you. That was certainly unpleasant. 
but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Thank you. Not just yourself, of course. Not really. You can weigh on any lord. Was I was I Easter. right? What do you think? Me? Yes. Yeah, Did man. I do what's right? As Maester, I cannot support mutilation. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. Mm -hmm. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Is it a third choice? Yeah. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Oh man, I don't know. Come speak. It's, it's one of the ready two. To convene the small council, my lord. All right, my fault. So I really gotta make this crucial decision, like tonight, of who's gonna be the sentinel, which is my guy. Who's gonna be my guy? My ride or die. I don't know, man. I don't know. Into the tower. Do I have an option? Okay, okay, I'll go run around a little bit. So I say we make it to the little dinner tonight where I gotta choose my guy and then I'll call it and I'll call it a wrap for this episode. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Yeah, Uncle you should Mark. say Lord Ethan. I saw Uncle what you did to me. It's not an easy thing to do. Being out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. Oh, I gotta talk to my sister. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing. I gotta demand me. respect, though. That's the whole thing. Hope to like, be tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. Rasha? I'm gonna finish what I was saying after this, after this conversation. To with to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, and I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. And you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will go. Okay. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. Some of my people, that's crazy. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Sir He'd be Royland? a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan that's would true. offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I was, I was gonna get to you. Be chill. You were next. You were next on the list. Mother told she me, be so pissed. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's her sister. will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I know you saw. The way you punished him? How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? You think it's easy. I'm the third born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best. Damn. Yeah. I know you are, Ethan. I know. You One minute. Oh me my god. And I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. The people want me to leave. 
They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I was strong and decisive when I cut the dude's fingers off. What do you mean? Oh my I only god. Wish you know, your, your opinion is now voided. I don't care what you You've have to say. We're done advice. talking. Thank you. That was terrible advice. We're done talking. We're done talking. Leave. Leave me. Okay, what I was gonna say is this dude just said he was a third born son, his father never prepared him for this job. What are you supposed to do? Like I like I gotta be myself, but at the same time I have to demand respect out of my people. You know what I mean? I can't just be letting everybody fly, maybe one and two one or two every now and then, but you know what I mean some sometimes people gotta lose their fingers. It is what it is. I gotta understand you, know. Where's here? We gotta talk. Flash right. That means now. Oh, I just saw the the arms. Oh, never mind. I'm tripping. Hold on. Let me see what he has. Let me ask him if he has an opinion on what I should uh, who I should make this centennial the sentinel. Ma Master, Master Orton, Orton Grin? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Oh, that's the same dude. My fault. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Hold on. Sorry, that's the same dude I just talked to. I'm talking to Duncan. What is this? Look, I'm not about to look at no food. We got time for that. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. Damn. You face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I don't even know what to say right there. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your <laughs> what? My I don't even know what to say to him. Like, You're all worthless and weak. Who's talking? Don't talk to people like that, my boy. Who's the boy? Careful. Keep at it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have Come a brother. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And oh, this, my God. So oh, I remember. my God. I mean, I could never forget. Oh, my God. But. And yeah, what of your Asher? brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left. So. <laughs> yeah. Is that a wood sword? Someday, it's a, a real wood sword. One, but not like that one. Okay. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. You'll be a lord too, my boy. I saw what you did to that man. I think. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Damn. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them there you even go. worse. I want a real there sword. You go. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the Here, men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure gun. I have a real sword when I do. All right, I'm done talking to you. All right, let's, um, I don't know who I'm supposed to pick here. If I tell him who I think I want to be Sentinel, does that end this this scene, or do or is going up here going to end the scene? Let's, let's go up here real quick. I don't I don't know. Can you can put me in a loading screen so I'm gonna watch him walk all the way up these stairs? 
Oh, okay, yeah, I gotta. Dang, I gotta make this decision right now, dude. Do I do? Okay. Hold on, bro. Let me talk to some more people, cause I know I might have to tell him right then and there, and I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's what's gonna happen. All right, Duncan, we gotta, we gotta talk. Give me bracer. No, I gotta give it to him right now. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance to talk to him. I just looked at him. I didn't give it to him. Where's the other guy at? Is it Malcolm? No, Malcolm's my uncle. Here he is. Oh, you're the one over here yelling at these people. Sword up. Swing <coughs> Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins. Or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind oh you, it was God. Duncan Tucker who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying oh so, my. I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Oh my god, this is so hard. And then I had the choice to give it to him, right? Oh my god. Okay, so... So, if the bracer... Is, this is the oh, bracer no. right there. Yeah. So whoever give the bracer to is gonna be the sentinel. So it's either I make the decision right now and give it to him, or I talk to this dude and say I've named one and then I give it to him at the dinner is what I'm, what My I'm Lord, thinking. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? See? What is what it is you're doing your... over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Man, okay. Okay. So <clears throat> Duncan is sensible. You know, I mean he offers great insight, great um advice. But he, he often wants to take the, the I don't want to say soft, but the soft way out. He wants to, Do it like you mean it. he wants to make deals and, and things of that nature. The other guy, see, I thought that, that's why I think it's bad. Like, I don't even know this dude's name. I'm talking about naming him my guy. I should know, his, I should learn his name first, right? Um, so Duncan, sensible, great character. Um, great advice, all around good human human being. Um, he he would be a great choice for Sentinel. Great choice. You already hear this. You already hear what he's talking about. What's his name? Sorry, what's your name again? Royland, Sir Royland. He's a he's a shooter. Shoot first, ask questions later type of guy. He he wants you to roll with an iron fist, and he's about that action. He's about that action, boss. I 
I feel like I need somebody right in the middle of these two. Like, <laughs> it's like either <laughs> water or fire. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if that's a great, a good expression for this, but you, you know what I mean? It's night. They're night and day. I don't know. I don't know. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. Who do we go with? Like, times like these, I wish I was, like, big. Got, like, more subscribers. You know what I mean? I had, like, a little fan base going. And I could put, like, a little poll in the corner in the video and let y'all decide. And then we can go from there. But I'm not there yet. So it's just me and my girlfriend making these decisions. But she ain't here. So it's just me making this decision. I ain't by myself. <laughs> oh brother I don't have a third choice bro you may sit I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision before I name my sentinel I must tell you you're both worthy Duncan, you are both worthy Royland this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Many god, thought see. Either of you would make a Duncan is so humble, man. But I have made my decision. I think Duncan's the way to go, man. I think Duncan's the way to go. Look, this dude is crazy, but I feel like if I don't pick him, he's going to try to revolt or something. I feel like if I pick him, Duncan's gonna be like, okay, well. <laughs> like, so you'll be cool with it. I'm pretty sure there's pros and cons to picking both of these guys. Any, many, but nah. <laughs> this is, oh, I don't know. Can I give it to her? <laughs> Can I give it to myself? Can I just not make a decision? Can I give it to both of them? Dang, this is tough. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This, this is reckless. Lord See? Eaton has made his choice. I feel like if I would have picked him, he wouldn't have been all butter like that. I will that. not disappoint you, my lord. He's just a he's a better he's a better guy. He's a better leader. This dude is like now, Trump. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Poor Boltons Ramsey. need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. He's not about to fight, bro. You gamble with the lives of See? everyone within these walls. He wants to fight at any given opportunity. Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This, he's the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. A man may have two ears, but he cannot listen to two men. Oh, I, I, I pressed stop bickering. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with. This is kind of good because I want to hear both he their sides. It to the empty gesture that it is, and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, but they have please. more people. I remember that from the first episode. They have more people. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Okay. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. <sighs> okay, what's the plan, bro? Oh, I gotta make Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Enough. 
We will fight, we will bargain, we will use diplomacy. I'm not fighting. I'm not about to name my sentinel and then go against the first thing he he, he offers, the first um, um conclusion he offers. Bargaining, I'm between bargaining and diplomacy. Um, and by the way, he, my boy's speaking, it doesn't sound like we got that much to bargain with, so. My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. There we go. I like that. If you are like ready that. for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Well, but you're keeping train. He's made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. And the pain is a decision, boy. Forgive us, my lord. That's what we're we doing. are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Okay. Well then. So Let's we'll decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this shit. hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? But is he a lord or is he not a lord? That's what I'm not. I would invite Rams into the Great Hall. I will make Ramsey wait at the gate. If we're using diplomacy, though, I'm not trying. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Let him, I'm not gonna. Do that. I'm not gonna not let him come in if we're gonna use diplomacy. It doesn't make any sense. I will meet so him in the Great tomorrow. Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. I know. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Royland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Sit down. Anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. Oh, I'm gonna go off You're for you now. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. I'll cut your fingers off, boy. Apologies, my son, but now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our Ironwood. Nope. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. <laughs> he is doing so much we shade. Adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I need to talk to you. Not you. I need to talk to, um, Roy Lee. My Lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. Okay, let me talk to you. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me he is, you want bro. to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember mm. the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked mm. out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm prepared to no, do what mean... must be done. I don't need my brother to do it for me. I'm Having in the best another triangle. sword at your side always. I meant to not say anything, especially now. 
But all those answers were trash. It was like, I don't need them ashes trash to and what's best for this uh, what was that, what was the other option? I'm smarter than that. What Ethan, are you boy? Come on. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to yeah, Essos and bring Asher back. Yeah, bring him back. I want I want to have a conversation with him. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Like, it's like they're just throwing me, like, I feel like him, they're throwing me in this situation with no insight on anything that happened before this. Like, I don't, I don't know who Asher is, I don't know about him, I need to talk to him, I need to have a conversation with this dude. Alright, I'm gonna end that episode right there. Um, so next up, I guess we gotta meet with, um... Ramsey Snow and see what's going on with that. I'm kind of confused. I'm see if I can do some research. Um, see if I can kind of get caught up to speed. I don't know. I don't know what's really going on. I'm just more invested into the Ethan side of this uh, of Game of Thrones of this season. And um, the other guy, I, I forgot his name, but the guy that um, that lost his family. I'm more invested into their two stories. I didn't know what was the deal with that other chick. I need some more research, that's what I'm saying. But, um, anyways, like I said, it's going to do it. Um, I appreciate you if you stuck with me for this whole video. If you did, please sure to um, like, share, comment, and subscribe so you can stay in the loop. Please like the video. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, remember to do everything this crazy way, and I'll see you in the next video. Kitty music. This is what you call a flip. Ten keys from a car to brick. Bentley from his mama whip. K.O.D. He hard as shit. This is what you call a flip. Ten keys from a car to brick. Bentley from his mama whip. K.O.D. He hard as shit.